today we're going to talk about Jeroboam. Jeroboam the second, who is of no relation to Jeroboam the first, was the son of Josh. And he was the ruler of Samaria. For those of you guys who do not know who the Samaritans are, those are people who are half Gentile and half Jewish. So they are considered biracial or a mixed breed of people. Now, Jeroboam, okay, Jeroboam the second was a very popular and wealthy king. One of the things that Jeroboam did when he became king was he recovered the lost lands of Israel. So he recovered Damascus, which is referred to as Damascus of Syria, in a battle in which he won and he took control of the land, as well as he took back other lost lands. Now, the prophets, some of the prophets that were around during Jeroboam's time was Hosea, Amos, Jonah, and a whole host of other prophets. Jonah, prophet, the prophet, actually prophesied to Jeroboam the second that guess what? He would recover the lost lands of Israel. Now, you can find information about Jeroboam in chapter 13, 14 of 2 Kings, as well as Amos in the first chapter, and Amos in the seventh chapter, okay? So Jeroboam the second, as he became a wealthy king, he also got money for the other Israelites. So these elite crowds of Jewish people would actually get money based upon doing business with Judah and the Northern Kingdom of Israel, okay? So what he would do is he would trade olive oil, wine, and some of the animals to get goods that would bring money to Samaria. Now, these Jewish people, who were part of the elite crowd, along with Jeroboam, started turning away from God. Back in those days, during his reign, they would refer to God as Hashim. So when you hear Jewish people sometimes, they say Hashim. That is another name for God. Okay? And what they would do is they would build shrines. And some of them would worship the golden calf, which was part of a foreign cult. Or they would worship Baal, okay, which was an idol. It was a false god, okay. It was a god that represent evil, okay. God didn't like this. This displeased God. And God sent Amos to let Jeroboam know. God is going to destroy your house. Now, how many of us have done so many things for society or a particular organization or a particular group of people and we have been so applauded for our efforts in helping the community that we have turned away from God and now have people worshiping us? Now, you know, it says in the Ten Commandments, God, there should be no other God but God, who we call Yahweh, Abba, Elohim, Jehovah, and the list goes on. But many times, 
you get individuals who they lose sight of God and they do things that do not honor God and they believe that they are God. And what happens over time? God ends up punishing them. And God can punish, the, punish them to where it leads to their death or it leads to their demise in which they are brought to their knees and they realize there is only one God, but the only God, and that is God the Eternal. And when they realize that, God forgives them and gives them a second chance. And if they don't realize that, well then they end up being punished to whatever God sees fit. For we all know that God only chastises those who he loves. So if you do not understand the punishment that God is bringing you through and you continue that you want to be rebellious, well, find out what rebellion leads to. I will continue more about Jeroboam as we go into the book of Amos. So, on that note, I say God bless. Good night. And we will have another chapter continuing to Amos chapter 3. Have a nice day.